charge of discharge of rhyme. Greedy comics, toys are hella sick, hell whacking it. Take a bad hit, take a bad hit, start a mix. A subscribe machine for domains. And there's Mr. Gold. <gasps> What's up you guys, Shardmas Prime here doing another Kodobo Kia Artifacts Plus Statue Review on the Marvel Now Hawkeye! If you're trying to get your Kodobo Kia statues, you can get a big bad store! Big, big, big! Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com! Click the link in the description below! Gotta give a big thanks to Kodobo Kia for making this review possible. Check the links in the description below to their website and Facebook for the latest coming from Kodobo Kia. And I like this packaging over here. I like how we get this old school classic Hawkeye right there. That looks pretty cool right next to this modern Marvel Now Hawkeye. Hawkeye, with some images of Hawkeye on the side. Then there's all the six Avengers that we're getting from this line right now. There's a bio on the statue and the character. If you want to read that, pause it now. Get some pictures right there of the Hawkeye statue. And then there's another picture of the artwork. Looking pretty cool. Anyway, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's Hawkeye out of the packaging. This is a very, very cool statue. There is some assembly required. It is a 110 scale modeling kit. So you have to read these instructions over here. Make sure you follow them closely. I totally recommend doing that when you get these figures or statues anyway and he comes with six different arrows which is awesome and you could put the bow together and everything but just getting a 360 of this guy over here I guess I could put the quiver in here a little further in and eh, no, I don't want to push it any more than that that looks pretty good as it is but yeah this looks pretty dope just getting a look at one of these arrows over here this is awesome I like how we have this really dark purple right here towards the end we have this lighter purple over here for the arrowhead and it is pointy so if you wanted to stab somebody with it you could and as you saw in the picture all six of the arrows are loose so you just throw them in the quiver over there I think that is pretty awesome now I know this is the Marvel now comic version of Hawkeye but is it just me or do I see a little bit of Jeremy Renner in this face sculpt I don't know I just see a little bit of a likeness to Jeremy Renner which does not bother me at all whatsoever and I like Jeremy Renner as Hawkeye but I don't know I know it's a comic version but I just see a little Jeremy Renner in there anyway I like how this is sculpted I like the flesh tones on him I think the glasses came out really nice you can see the dark purple in there the hair looks really cool we get some variation of color in the hair as well I think it's sculpted quite nicely it looks very realistic very natural so I get to look at the top of it over here yeah it looks pretty good man I'm digging that you put some glossy paint right there on the pouches right there on the torso of the figure you get that nice flesh tone again and the gloves are painted with a matted black just like the t-shirt and the t-shirt has some wrinkles in there too so it's making it look pretty realistic and the bow looks really awesome too I really like it a lot that looks pretty damn sweet I'm digging this metallic paint that they have right here. I think that looks really cool. Now, the way you put this into his hand is that it detaches from the bottom right over here. So you just plug that right in there. So this goes through the hand and then you plug it in right over here. And then you just grab any arrow and then you can attach it in between his fingers. And then this actual, the string is supposed to go around this black finger right here, his ring finger right over there. Then the arrow is supposed to just kind of squeeze in between his pointing finger and his middle finger. And then the other end is supposed to clip into this little notch right right here not this one but the smaller one that's right there now this is the only gripe I have with the statue is that once I do that I get a little bit of a bend right there in the arrow and I don't really like that and as I try to shift this arm because this arm is uh, comes separately so you attach the arm as I try to shift it around a little bit it gets straighter but then this gets a little bit of a gap and that's a little annoying so I don't know I may just have to mess with it a little bit more that's really the only complaint I have with the statue the string for the bow is not actual string it's a solid piece right here so you don't want to try bending it around or anything quiver looks pretty good I like how it has some pouches right here and it can rotate either direction now in the packaging it shows the quiver facing this way but really uh, you'd want it facing that way if he's gonna be pulling arrows with his left hand we get some more glossy pouches right there on his waist which looks really good I like the silver paint app for that buckle we get some more silver right there on these buckles over here I really like the contrast between the matted black and the glossy black right there it looks really really cool then we get this gun in a holster right there on his hip which looks fine but you cannot remove it which doesn't bother me for action figures that would bother me but for a statue nah I just think it looks cool and I really like the wrinkle sculpted in the pants I think that looks fantastic and the boots look really cool too and then of course he has this magnetized base it functions the same way as all the other ones and then he does have magnetized feet here too if you would like you can remove Hawkeye from the base and he will stand on his own I don't recommend it though and to measure this 110 scale statue he stands seven and a half inches tall here's our Kota Bukia Hawkeye statue compared to the Marvel Legends modern Hawkeye and this is not the Marvel now Hawkeye, this is the modern Hawkeye, so their costumes 
costumes are a little bit different, but they are quite similar. Now this Marvel Legends figure doesn't come with its own individual arrows. If you wanted to use a Kodo Bakia arrow with this though, I think it could work. It's kind of a stretch because it's out of scale, but I don't know. It could work that. And here's Hawkeye compared to the rest of the artifacts plus Avengers Marvel Now statues, Captain America, Black Widow, and Hulk. And I just think this looks awesome. Cannot wait for Thor and Iron Man to come out. So far, I really love this as a display piece. I have it set up over here in my studio. Anyway, I hope you guys liked my video. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and check out MarvelousNews.com for the latest in Marvel-related news. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. That's crispy. And to measure this one-tenth scale statue, he stands at about one and a half inches tall. What? One and a half. <laughs> Thank you.